University is about a month into its first full semester since controversial videos from a former fraternity rocked the campus. And the fate of some students involved remains in limbo, but News Channel 9's Farah Jadron shows us tonight why the Hendricks Chapel community is confident the fall semester marks a fresh start. Hoping to be heard. Syracuse University students and staff hurt by controversial videos made by the now defunct Theta Tau sparked anger across campus. No no but it's listening sessions that took place at Hendricks Chapel that has Dean Reverend Brian Conkle confident this fall semester is a fresh start. There was hope, there was sadness, anger. Um, it was everything that you could imagine all of which I felt were justified based upon the person expressing them. According to Conkle's fellow chaplains, student participation at Hendricks is higher now than it's ever been before. So we create a safe space and a brave space to practice the freedom of speech, but also the responsibility of listening. It was an incredibly intense time. Um, and I think that that energy helped to propel us forward. It was a reminder that in times of great conflict, uh, perhaps the goal isn't to resolve conflict, but the goal is to transform conflict. Transforming a diverse campus. On the SU Hill, Farah Jadrin, News Channel 9. Hendrick Chapel is also taking part in SU's 34th annual MLK celebration, the largest of its kind. Comedian and author Trevor Noah will host an onstage dialogue about his memoir, Born a Crime, stories from a South African childhood reflecting on the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.